So hey guys, as we all know, Samsung chose the Snapdragon chip over the Exynos CPU for its S series phones. But this time, they have specially collaborated with Qualcomm to create an overclocked 8 Gen 2 for only the S23. Initially, it was assumed that this particular CPU would only be utilized in the S23 Ultra, but this is not the case. Not only that, but the Galaxy Unpacked event date has also been revealed. So when the Galaxy S23 Ultra was featured on the Geekbench test website a few weeks ago, we found that the S23 Ultra is powered by an overclocked 8 Gen 2 CPU. And now it's also confirmed for the basic Galaxy S23 model which is a great news. But there is a catch, the benchmark results for the regular Galaxy S23 are meanwhile much lower than the compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I believe it's because the device's software hasn't been finalized. But it is also possible that non-Ultra models or the just smallest Galaxy S23 throttle performance to keep device heating under control because the smaller size make dissipating heat more difficult than it is on the big Ultra model. In any case, it appears that every Galaxy S23 variant will use an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU. Let me explain the difference between a regular 8 Gen 2 and an overclocked 8 Gen 2. Now, Qualcomm's official figures for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 says that the prime CPU, the fastest core, can reach 3.19 GHz. However, benchmark listing for the Galaxy S23 and the Galaxy S23 Ultra shows the prime CPU at a 3.36 GHz. Now, Samsung is doing a great job in this area, providing phones with equivalent and powerful CPUs that are not seen in other manufacturers. I hope Samsung continues its collaboration with Qualcomm and expands its overclocked CPU to mid-range devices with a mid-range overclocked CPUs, which in my opinion would drive Samsung's market share to a new levels. The question now is when these phones will be released? Ice Universe claims that Samsung has scheduled the Galaxy Unpack 2023 launch event for the Galaxy S23 on February 1st, 2023. This appears to be the launch date for the United States. As a result, the launch date for the rest of the world will most likely be on February 2nd, 2023. The Galaxy S23 series is also anticipated to go on sale in a major regions two weeks after the formal announcement. The phones might be available in other markets by the end of the March 2023. So what do you think about this Galaxy S23 getting a more powerful CPU than others? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.